Welcome, and on behalf of the faculty and staff of the College of Engineering, I thank you for participating in the induction into the profession ceremony. I'm Robert Bishop, Dean of the College of Engineering. I am pleased that so many women and men are interested in the engineering profession and computer science and technology careers. Today's ceremony is a recorded event. Please follow along as each department recognizes the students being inducted today. After all the students are recognized, I will induct you into either the Order of the Engineer or the Pledge of the Computing Professional. At the end of the video, all graduating students will be shown on screen. This video will stay posted to the college's YouTube page for future viewing. Before we get started, I want to thank the USF Engineering Alumni Association and engineering alumni, Mr. Robert Higgins and Mr. Christopher Dennis for sponsoring today's event by purchasing the rings and pins. Thank you for your generosity. Now, let's proceed to the induction of our graduates into their chosen professions. The engineering graduates will be inducted into the professional organization, the Order of the Engineer, which was established in 1953. As part of the ceremony, they will receive a steel ring for the little finger of their working hand and be required to sign the obligation of the engineer. The computer science, cybersecurity, and information technology graduates will be inducted into the pledge of the computing professional. As part of the ceremony, they will receive a lapel pin and be required to sign the pledge of the computing professional. It's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Michael Kai Wang, assistant professor in mechanical engineering. Dr. Wang's research and teaching endeavors are focused on nanoscale phenomena, nano manufacturing, and two-dimensional materials. He was presented with his iron ring during the ritual of the calling of an engineer in 2018 in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He will provide us with a brief history of the order of the engineer. Egyptian pyramids, Roman aqueducts, today's medical diagnostic equipment and tomorrow's journey through the stars. A legacy of engineering wonders is threaded through the history of humankind and each advance and accomplishment providing the foundation for and determining the future. A history of the order of the engineer is more than number crunching. It is a matter of life and death. In 1907, when engineering errors led to a Canadian bridge collapse that killed 75 construction workers, the profession's moral obligations were stark and obvious. Engineers increasingly realized that technical expertise was not enough. And in 1925, a group of Canadian engineers formally and publicly promised to uphold the highest ethical standards. To remind themselves of their pledge, they fashioned iron rings to be worn on the outer finger. For decades, engineers in the United States had no similar institution. Today, the stainless steel rings worn by the order's members are recognized throughout the world as an outward sign of an inward commitment to ethical engineering. This is the story of the order's origins and expansion. In 1953, 27 years after its Canadian inception, there was discussion within the profession about establishing the order of the engineer in the United States. The correspondence and committee work continued until 1970, a groundbreaking year, when seniors at Cleveland State University made rings, wrote an obligation, and had the first U.S. Order of the Engineer ceremony. The Florida Board of Governors approved and published a new code of regulations in 1974. The chapters are called links of the Order of Engineering and at the University of South Florida established its link in 1989. Currently, more than 250,000 engineers in 50 states have received the steel ring to wear on the small finger of the working hand to symbolize their belief in honesty and integrity 
in the services they perform. Thank you, Dr. Wang. Our next speaker is Dr. Jamie Chilton. Dr. Chilton is an instructor in the Department of Industrial and Management Systems Engineering. She has more than 13 years of experience in a variety of research, technology, business, teaching and consulting roles in higher education and private industry, particularly in biotechnology. Her previous work in the biotech industry includes developing innovative and engineered cellular systems for disease modeling, drug discovery, and toxicity studies for clients ranging from academia and government to large biotech and pharmaceutical companies. Her research, teaching, interests include engineering management, technology-based entrepreneurship, healthcare engineering, and education engineering. She will provide us with the significance of the Order of the Engineer. The purpose of the Order of the Engineer is to foster a feeling of pride in being an engineer and to instill a dedication to ethics throughout the engineer's professional career. The Order is symbolized by the acceptance of an obligation and the wearing of a stainless steel ring on the little finger of the working hand. There are no meetings other than this ceremony and there are no dues. Students, the obligation to which you will soon subscribe is a composite of several creeds emphasizing honesty and integrity and acknowledging the work that your predecessors have done to gain the knowledge and skills that have been passed on to you during your years of college training. This accumulation of knowledge, which has been brought this far by others, is being passed on to you to carry even farther before being passed on again to those who will be coming along behind you. The significance of what you are about to say and do might be summarized this way. I acknowledge my obligation as an engineer to bring honor to my profession. I will apply the golden rule and our code of ethics in all my professional and private dealings. And I acknowledge my obligation to be a giver to the betterment of mankind. The symbol of your desire to accept these obligations is the engineer's ring. It will indicate to all who see it that you have publicly avowed your dedication to the honorable practice of engineering and to the public that your profession serves. Congratulations, students. Thank you, Dr. Chilton. Now I'll introduce Dr. Kenneth Christensen, professor and associate chair in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Ken's research and teaching interests are in performance evaluation of computer networks. He is one of the founders and currently president of the Pledge of the Computing Professional, an organization founded in 2011 to promote and recognize the ethical and moral behavior and responsibilities of graduates of computing related degree programs. 52 U.S. institutions are members of the Pledge Ken also coordinates the department's industry partners computing partners program. He has more than 100 journal and conference publications and 13 US patents. He is a licensed professional engineer in the state of Florida, a member of ACM and ASEE, and a senior member of IEEE. He will provide us with a brief history of the organization and explain its significance. Before we ask the initiates here to obligate themselves to the Pledge of the Computing Professional, we pause to consider the history of and motivation for this organization. The act of joining a profession in modern society is often accompanied by a rite of passage. This rite of passage often involves the initiate pledging to act ethically and morally in the profession and receiving a visible symbol as a reminder of that pledge. In 2007, individuals at the University of South Florida and Ohio Northern University created organizations for graduates of their respective computing programs, sparking interest at other institutions. To meet the desire for a shared, wide-ranging organization similar in purpose to the Order of the Engineer, 
the Pledge of the Computing Professional was created by an international team of 17 computing professionals. The organization held its first induction ceremony in spring of 2011 at USF, McNeese State University, Metropolitan State College of Denver, Ohio Northern University, and Oberlin College. Through this ceremony, we foster professional pride, moral obligation, and ethical responsibility in all graduates of computing disciplines. The initiates who are present today will soon stand to take this pledge. After this ceremony, there will be no organizational meetings to attend, nor will there be any dues to be paid. However, members are expected to uphold the pledge and honor the computing profession. The certificate and the pin that each of our initiates receive will serve as visible reminders of this promise throughout their professional careers. Encoded in the pin is a key word. It is up to you to decode the pin. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Christensen. In 2018, the College of Engineering was invited to join the National Academy of Engineering's Grand Challenges Scholars Program. This semester, the first cohort of those students are graduating. Dr. Sanjukta Banja, Professor and Associate Dean of Academics and Student Affairs, will recognize the students who are graduating this semester and tell you more about the program. Hello, everyone. First, I want to congratulate all of you graduating this spring. May the engineering and computing mindset be with you for life. Today, I'm here to congratulate the first four graduating students who are part of a college-wide, vertically integrated Grand Challenges Scholar Program, GCSP, which was initiated by the National Academy of Engineering. USF College of Engineering was invited to be a part of this elite national program. The goal of the program is to provide opportunity and to impart skill sets necessary to solve one of the 14 grand challenges that have been identified as the greatest engineering challenges in the 21st century. To provide access to clean water, restore and improve urban infrastructure, secure cyberspace, and engineer better medicines are among these challenges, just to name a few. Scholars are selected through a highly competitive college-wide application process in order to graduate as a, an NAE Grand Challenges Scholars. The student must fulfill the following five competencies, research, interdisciplinarity, entrepreneurship, global vision, and societal impact. The GCSP scholars at USF accomplished this through the com completion of a three-year-long group project that is designed to incorporate all of these elements. This year, I am proud to announce the first Grand Challenge Scholars program graduates from the University of South Florida. I want to extend my heartiest congratulations to the following exceptional students, Carolina Yamamoto Alves Pinto, Biomedical Engineering, and Jose Elidio Campies Neto, Computer Science. They are both members of the Autonomous Vehicle and Smart Cities GCSP team. Next, I want to congratulate Makshata Chellani, Biomedical Engineering, and Prantik Chakraborty, Chemical Engineering. They are part of the Sustainable Water GCSP team, focusing on rainwater harvesting. Congratulations on your excellent work Best wishes to the first GCSP graduates. Go Bulls! Thank you, Dr. Banja. Now it's time to induct our College of Engineering graduates by department. We will begin with chemical, biological, and materials engineering. Dr. Clifford Henderson, professor and chair will announce the outstanding undergraduate in chemical engineering. Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Cliff Henderson and as the department chair for the Department of Chemical, Biological and Materials Engineering here at USF, I wanna take this opportunity on behalf of the department and its faculty and staff to say congratulations on completing your degree with us here at USF and on your upcoming graduation. This is a tremendous milestone for you and marks the beginning 
of your next great adventure, whether that be in continued studies in graduate school, perhaps it's starting a new job as a practicing engineer, or it may be applying your degree in other related pursuits. Whatever that next step may be, we wish you great success in your future endeavors. I can tell you that on behalf of all of my colleagues, that we're all disappointed that we cannot be with you in person to celebrate your accomplishments this year. We know this past year has likely been challenging in many ways, both due to the normal academic rigors of completing your engineering degree and the special issues created due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. We know how much hard work, how many sleepless nights, and the tireless persistence it's taken to achieve completion of your degree. As engineers, and in particular for chemical engineers graduating from our department, you are prepared to make significant contributions to society and to tackle the wide range of challenges facing mankind in the coming decades. Whether it be finding solutions to the world's growing energy demands, helping to feed uh, the populations of the world as they continue to grow, providing clean drinking water to the masses, reducing the environmental and climate impacts of human activity, or one of many other important problems that will be solved by engineers in years to come, your degree and experiences here at USF have given you the knowledge and the tools to begin to make an impact. We're confident that you will find your education and training here at USF a valuable tool in unlocking your future and wish you the best as you take on that next set of challenges and pursue those opportunities. We hope that you will stay in touch with us and come back and visit when you have the opportunity. We would love to hear about those next steps in your life and your career, and we would enjoy both hearing about them and sharing them with your fellow USF Chemical, Biological, and Materials Engineering Department alumni through our newsletters and other activities. We also hope to see many of you back to our campus to recruit those future generations of chemical engineering students who are already following in your footsteps and who will be looking to pursue opportunities like those that you're about to embark on. So I hope you take this opportunity to savor the accomplishments of completing your degree and I wish you all great success in where it takes you next. Congratulations and best wishes. Finally, I wanna take this opportunity to recognize our outstanding student for the semester. Our outstanding student is Mr. Mitchell Ortega Pineda. Congratulations, it was a lot of hard work. Uh, all of the faculty and staff of the department congratulate you and we wish you the best. Thank you, Dr. Anderson. Here are the department students being inducted today.
Our next group is Civil and Environmental Engineering. Dr. Manrique Gunaratni, Professor and Chair, will announce the outstanding undergraduates in Civil Engineering. Good afternoon. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department, I offer all of you, and particularly the Civil and Environmental Engineering graduates, my heartiest congratulations on your graduation. Your achievement is even more valued under the still prevalent worldwide pandemic unprecedented in the recent human history. I wish all of you the best of luck in your professional careers and other endeavors. At this time, I am quite pleased to announce the outstanding civil and environmental engineering graduates. This time, we have two students as our outstanding graduates, Kaylee Biss and Fanny Pelletier-Laroche. Both of these young ladies have excelled not only in academics, but also in competitive varsity sports and brought credit to USF. Thank you, Dr. Gunaratni. And here are the department students being inducted today. Our next group is Computer Science and Engineering. Dr. Sudeep Sarkar, Professor and Chair, will announce the outstanding undergraduates from the four programs in that department. Hello, I am Sudeep Sarkar. I am the Chair of the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Congratulations to our graduates of Computer Science, Computer Engineering, Cybersecurity, and Information Technology. You are a phenomenal class of graduates, very unique in that you have persisted through some very tough times to accomplish this major milestone in your life. I would like to share with you three uh, messages. First, remember USF stands for You Shape the Future. So as you move forward in the workforce, be mindful of the ethical implications of your job. Third, please stay connected with us. We'd love to hear from you as you make waves out in the real world. Now I'd like to announce our outstanding graduates. In computer engineering, we have Josh Aguilar. In computer science, we have Ki Zeng. In information technology, we have Guan Octavia. And in cybersecurity, we have Taylor Nobles. With that, I would like to congratulate you again on accomplishing this milestone. Please stay connected with us. Thank you, Dr. Sarkar. Here are the department students being inducted today.
Our next group is electrical engineering. Dr. Christos Ferrakides, professor and chair, will announce the outstanding undergraduate in electrical engineering. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the electrical engineering department, I would like to congratulate the spring 21 engineering graduating class, especially the electrical engineering graduates for a job well done. You accomplished yet another major goal. It's never easy earning an engineering degree and you did it under the challenging pandemic conditions during your senior year. Regardless of whether you're starting a new job or entering graduate school to continue your education, one thing is for certain, success is in your hands. Congratulations to you and your family and keep in touch with your electrical engineering family here at USF. The outstanding electrical engineering graduate is Michael Lang. Congratulations, Michael. Good luck and go Bulls. Thank you, Dr. Barakides. Here are the department students being inducted today. Our next group is Industrial and Management Systems Engineering. Dr. Tapas Das, Professor and Chair, will announce the outstanding undergraduate in Industrial Engineering. Hello, graduating students of College of Engineering. On behalf of the staff and faculty of Industrial and Management Systems Engineering, I'd like to congratulate you all, and not only you, but your family, friends, and significant others for this tremendous accomplishment. In this challenging time of COVID, you guys have prevailed and made it through. So congratulations. I would like to also particularly uh, congratulate the graduates of industrial engineering. Okay, I just want to say that go out and shine as a professional and make sure to be the best. And I know you have all the tools you need to be the best. I also want to congratulate the best industrial engineering graduate our outstanding industrial engineering graduate of spring 2021, Ms. Samantha Lopez. Congratulations, Samantha. And thank you, Dr. Das. Here are the department students being inducted today.
Our next group is mechanical engineering. Dr. Rajiv Dubey, professor and chair, will announce the outstanding undergraduate in mechanical engineering. On behalf of the mechanical engineering faculty and staff, I would like to congratulate all the new graduates and their families. I'm pleased to introduce Evan Babbitts for being selected as the outstanding mechanical engineering senior for the spring 2021 semester. Evan is also an exceptional USF student athlete running cross country and track. He's also a licensed pilot. Congratulations, Evan. Your senior year was a challenging year and a very unusual year, both in terms of day-to-day -day life and receiving education at USF. Fortunately, we can now see the light at the end of the tunnel and your job prospects are looking brighter going forward. We wish you all the best in your new careers and endeavors. Stay safe and do well and go Bulls. Thank you, Dr. Dubey. Here are the department students being inducted today. Our last group, medical engineering, is the newest department created in 2017 as a joint department between the College of Engineering and the Morsani College of Medicine. Medical engineering is home to the Biomedical Engineering Program, where students are taught by both engineering faculty and physicians. It's a unique interdisciplinary experience that is offered only at the University of South Florida within Florida. Dr. Robert Frazina, professor and chair, will announce the outstanding undergraduate in biomedical engineering. I'm honored to wish farewell and great luck to our graduating BME majors and BME graduate students, their parents, families, friends, and colleagues on behalf of the faculty and staff of our Department of Medical Engineering. I can't tell you how proud I am of each of our graduates having to carry on during their final semester under restrictions of COVID. None of us would want to miss the face-to-face -face interactions that we had hoped for during our final semester, both academically and socially. We have had to conduct most of our activities remotely via Teams, including our capstone presentations, graduate defenses, and the great celebrations that normally accompany them, taking away the personal contact and camaraderie that we so enjoy and look forward to. Our undergrads continue to be pioneers as they are the first full group to graduate from our new BME major here at USF, a rising Research One University. And our graduate students continue a fine tradition of completing a noteworthy BME nationally recognized graduate program. Our graduates are moving on to great positions 
and this makes me so happy as chair of our department. So please keep in close touch with us because one of the greatest joys of being a professor is seeing how you, our graduates and wonderful students succeed after graduation in your careers and in your life. It has been my honor and an honor for your other BME professors to help mold your education here at USF and of course, go Bulls. We wish you great happiness and success and be persistent in pursuing your goals as you'll encounter many unexpected twists and turns and obstacles. However, you'll also encounter unforeseen opportunities to take advantage of. We usually don't have control over these unexpected events, but how you deal with them is under your purview and that will be the most important. I've gotten to know most of you, and I'm just as excited as I can be about how far you have come and the tremendous places you will go. And I miss you already. So on behalf of the faculty and staff of our medical engineering department, your BME department, I wish you good fortune and be safe. Lastly, I'm happy to announce that Carolina Yamamoto Alves Pinto is the outstanding undergraduate in biomedical engineering this year. Congratulations, Carolina and your family. Thank you, Dr. Frazina. Here are the department students being inducted today. Now it's time for our engineering inductees to recite the obligation of an engineer. After this, the computer science, cybersecurity, and information technology inductees will recite the oath or the pledge of the computing professional. Please recite the oath on the screen along with me. I am an engineer. In my profession, I take deep pride to it, I owe solemn obligations. Since the Stone Age, human progress has been spurred by the engineering genius. Engineers have made usable nature's vast resources of material and energy for humanity's benefit. Engineers have vitalized and turned to practical use the principles of science and the means of technology. Were it not for this heritage of accumulated experience, my efforts would be feeble. As an engineer, I pledge to practice integrity and fair dealing, tolerance and respect, and to uphold devotion to the standards and dignity of my profession. Conscious always that my skill carries with it the obligation to serve humanity by making the best use of Earth's precious wealth. As an engineer, I participate in none but honest enterprises. When needed, my skill and knowledge shall be given without reservation for the public good. In the performance of duty and in fidelity to my profession, 
I shall give the utmost. Congratulations, you are inducted. Please have someone place the ring on the little finger of your working hand and be sure to sign your certificate. Now I will induct the computer science, cybersecurity, and information technology inductees. Please recite the oath on the screen along with me. I am a computing professional. My work as a computing professional affects people's lives, both now and into the future. As a result, I bear moral and ethical responsibilities to society. As a computing professional, I pledge to practice my profession with the highest level of integrity and confidence. I shall always use my skills for the public good. I shall be honest about my limitations, continuously seeking to improve my skills through lifelong learning. I shall engage only in honorable and upstanding endeavors. By my actions, I pledge to honor my chosen profession. So congratulations, you are inducted. Please have someone place a pin on you and be sure to sign your certificate. I wish each student success in their chosen career path, be it industry, graduate school, or academia. Most importantly, your education does not end with graduation. It's only just beginning. I encourage you to stay in touch with the college and come back to campus or attend an engineering event. This ends the ceremony. On behalf of myself and the faculty and staff of the College of Engineering, congratulations. We are proud to have you join the ranks of the USF College of Engineering alumni. Please stay tuned as all the engineering graduates for spring 2021 will now appear on the screen. Go Bulls!